Hello viewers, welcome back. In last video I spoke about the fuel and air in these famous ratios which have to be fulfilled that fuel can efficiently burn. In this video I have to explain the common rail engine and this is mostly, I have to speak about the common rail fuel injection system and how this all goes. So we have the fuel inside of our fuel tank and outside of the fuel tank we have the low pressure electric fuel pump which pumps the fuel up to the fuel filter. Uh, outside of the fuel filter we have outgoing manifolds which lead to the high pressure fuel pump. And this high pressure fuel pump, it's mostly co most common Bosch pump, pressurizes the fuel up to 200 until 2000 bars, which is insanely high pressure. And this is really important because with this kind of pressure we achieve the high efficiency and very high power and low uh, fuel consumption. And let's continue. So we have this, as you can see an image, we have this common rail and on this common rail, as you can see, are connected uh, fuel injectors and the fuel injectors are electronically controlled by ECU. So what do we have to know from here? So the fuel have to be injected in certain time and for certain amount of time because we cannot instantly inject, I don't know, 33 milligrams of fuel inside of the combustion chamber. This takes some time. And so the crankshaft has some positioning sensors that ECU knows in which position is currently crankshaft on which is connected our cylinder. Yeah? So this is one important sensor which has to be adjusted. And the second thing is so we need to know the start of injection, in which moment, in which position of crankshaft we should start injecting fuel. And this is the map inside of the ECU, it's called start of injection map. The next map is the duration map. It's not only important to know when to start, but how much long we need to uh, allow to inject the fuel inside of the combustion chamber. This is the duration map. This is also one additional map which we have to tune if we want to get the most out of the engine. So this is actually all not, uh, I have to speak about. So we have the Bosch pump, we have the high pressure common rail and we have the fuel injectors. This is all controlled by the ECU by several maps. We have the start of injection map, we have the duration map and we have this positioning sensor uh, which tells us in which position is a crankshaft that we know when to start injecting the fuel. This is all about the fuel. I will not spend any more time on the fuel injection and in the next video we, ha we have to continue with air. So I am going to explain the turbocharger and how this turbocharger is started, how it's controlled and how do we control the, the pressure of the air we have to put inside of the cylinder. This is it. Thank you for watching. Until next video, stay tuned on my channel.